Hi everyone, here's Simone. Welcome to this new Touch Designer tutorial. And today is not only a Touch Designer, a Touch Designer tutorial, but it's also a, an introduction to Omniverse Create. And uh, I'm exploring this new software, it's free from media. How and where to get it, please uh, refer to other tutorial in order to understand it maybe also better. Um, the goal of this tutorial is to send some OSC messages from Touch Designer and make something happen here in uh, real time uh, inside the Omniverse. It can be a strange pipeline, but you know, then maybe it's maybe the future solution of uh, uh, Unreal and all the blueprints. That's all. Um, okay, uh, let's go screen with this one and the UI pretty similar to uh, Blender. The cool thing is that you have a dockable object. So it means that uh, if you want pretty snappy. A uh, viewport, it's a viewport uh, and let's create some objects. You can create it from the viewport or you can create it from the so let's go to plane. Where is the plane? You select it, press F and you focus on the plane. It's pretty nice. Let's make a material. Uh, I want this look at and there's, then we have a light that is up here even too bright to be good to everything so bring it down like that and move it um, then 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 uh, always with the light selected I want to be smaller like that Okay, it's fine. We have a we have a plane, and what you're gonna do about this plane? Okay, okay. much like that. And, and yeah, you say like it. Uh, let's put what? Let's put the fire. Okay, so we take uh, an X form as movable structure things, and we call it. Uh, because this software is from NVIDIA, we have all the gorgeous things from NVIDIA. Um, we can then go to simulation, flow, preset, and uh, with the preset uh, uh, window, and the flow selected, we double click on fire. And uh, now, if you press uh, the, the spacebar or the play button, we have fire. Pretty nice. Okay, let's move it up a bit, and we have a fire. With a with a 3D texture plane, pretty nice. Um, should we put also an environment? Why not? Where do we wanna go? I wanna go. I wanna go here. That's not a good spot. Let's go here. Yeah, it sounds better. Lovely. Uh, the light is too intense, and then we I mean, maybe wanna go a bit darker. So. I create an environment, lights is an environment based on the Just to make everything a bit warmer. Warmer. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, no, nice. So let's stop. We create a scene and let's save it. File, save, save it, and uh, save it like uh, flow tutorial. <coughs> I may share it for my Google Drive video, uh, link will be in the video description. So, okay, we have a scene. Wow, nice. Uh, let's go here in Touch Designer and let's build uh, the uh, OSC sender fast. Doing that, uh, OSC in. Uh, and we copy the things we need. And we are going to relax. One, two, three, go to C. Put this need set, paste it, and maybe collapse this guy. Hey. Lovely. Okay. Um, now we have an NRC out, and this guy needs to be reformatted. Okay, how to write OC messages? They need to be, uh, we have no more server. And uh, that's a cool thing. 
Okay, they need to be compiled with a with a slash before the name, and then you have to pass a list. Okay. Uh, send OSC is the method of the send OSC out data to send messages to the address you set up. You set it up. Uh, fine. Okay. What what we gonna send? Let's send. Uh, um, a scale okay so we name the value like this and then we have to actually create a scale parameter okay as you can see in any software any any software if you take for example zero this is actually a list of the elements okay so we have to compile a list with three elements okay. how to do it uh, how to do it? We will do it uh, in chop and then write some uh, some boring Python to make the right message. So let's actually take uh, a constant, okay, and let's make uh, an three frozen without uh, the bone. Okay, we open the parameter here. I will type uh, net dot sign. Uh, Actually, we will invert the cosine. Um, net cos of what? Of abstime dot seconds uh, times 360. Because we want to build an opportunity with scale. So let's times 2. Okay. And we have this one that goes minus 2, 2. Kind of. Maybe we need to. Okay, uh, how we how to have three? You just copy the string three signs because I have it in the email. So it's okay. Um, we add some offset to the time. So like this. And then uh, maybe a little more offset and like this. And then we want also add uh, some numbers. And we have different. Uh, Okay, nice. Um, uh, 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 actually, I would like to have the absolute of uh, this because I don't want to have one. Minus. Let's go right there. So, yeah, now they go double fast. So no, it's okay. Um, we can maybe multiply the upside for something. It's okay for now. Okay, we have three kind of value for things that we We put a null and uh, we call this uh, uh, UC capital in numbers Y. This is the double three. Double three because actually it should be 64 bit uh, uh, value that you send from here. This is what we call double. Um, because normally it's 32. Uh, double 3 means the thing I will show you the zero for 3. But now it's just the name of the operator, but it, it refers to this to list made of 3, the exception and z coordinate. Okay, <coughs> right. Uh, let's compile the things differently. So we just steal this string here. Yeah, from here. We steal it uh, and we delete the guy. So now we have only a, a button that we want to make it double up, so it stay on. We take a null, we drop execute, because we want to run something, uh, like we want to send every frame the value to the address, uh, to the OC UDP server on the other side, and uh, 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 we want to go with while while oh hold on here we go so okay uh, so while on I'm sending this it is definitely something that we don't want uh, what uh, what 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 I'm gonna send I'm gonna like define here uh, uh, something called double okay. the double is equal to what is equal to the operator double three Okay, and because chop is an array of value, I can scrabble it, I can scrub it with the square parentheses, so I can say double 
if we make finally the list that I was putting in the beginning, so this is double three, so it's double, that is the fact that we're to double three. <coughs> we could maybe find a kind of name, but just to be not creative. Um, we can just uh, define the table. Uh, okay. The index is your base. Okay, nice. Uh, so if you press this one, then I'm sending something every frame. Is this cooking? Yes. Error? No. And actually, uh, we're using a method of this operator, so this is cooking and not operator itself. Okay. Uh, I already know where uh, where is my my C and where it will be in universe. This is the the port I, I set it up, and uh, you don't need to change actually nothing if you run it on your. Uh, from the same computer where you're running the Omniverse. Okay, nice. So let's leave the design running. And then we open the Omniverse. Okay. If we press play, uh, I want to deal with rotation. Hmm. Okay, okay. It was nice to see how to create the flow. I don't need it. Uh, I want to deal with the uh, size. So let's take a, a torus. Okay, use those. Okay, okay, let's make this a use uh, a huge floor. So, move on. So, up. Uh, and maybe want to skip the text of this guy. Right? So, um, plain text. Uh, project the UV, and they are way too big. Uh, One, one, one. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, then we have a torus here with the shadows, reflection, and blah blah blah. So it's a nice torus. Uh, uh, how we want to move it? Okay, let's be the structure here to uh, move it or scale, scale it. Pardon. Uh, let's be the structure in order to receive those messages. Okay. Windows extension. You have to type here in this search bar OSC and then you go to community. Ah, pardon. You first go to community, then you type OSC and you find the extension. You click on enable and auto -win. So every time you open the onwards, this window will pop up. Or will open if you lock it in the place where you lock it. So let's start the server. Okay. Uh, let's go back actually to the extension page. Go to community. Let's see. Okay, uh, this developer was so kind to give us a lot of information about the extension, how to use it actually. You can read it by yourself. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import these things for the debug purposes. So it's a. Uh, we are printing verbose on you. It removes the UI, you can do it by going in the script editor, take the command from there, pass it to the line, and we can see that we are receiving the magical message. Oh, okay, again. Uh, with an error. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the screen, but those are now interpreted as a string. And the extension can read only float. So how to solve it, how to solve this problem. Really tedious, but we have to type something here in the message we're compiling in that design eh? for, our, for the others. We type it. Good. I know it's the less like more elegant way to define more float, but I don't care. And I will read it like this. Good. <coughs> So back to on, back to create, and now uh, they are interpreted as uh, 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 float, not not no string. There. Let's go here and actually define the way to get those data and apply it to the scale of this beautiful torus. We need to create what. Uh, um, 
the, the node based solution of Omniverse for the um, moving things, I guess, it is action graph. Okay, so in the full view, now we have an action graph. Okay, so uh, the action graph, you can call it from graph editor. And uh, yeah, it's pretty complicated and buggy, in my opinion, but it's nice to understand it. Um, it works like this, so we need a, a bang, like um, for me. Uh, this is the bang you want. How we say we compile the message with scale. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so this guy is now, it's from the extension we are running. <coughs> it's the object for the graph. Um, and we will continue by uh, inspecting the bundle because this is a bundle. A bundle is, a, I guess, a sort of dic dictionary com convention that there's in Omniverse. So we have to inspect those bundles that are actually dictionary uh, by connecting a wire and uh, ask for a bundle inspector. Okay, then we can extract the attribute we want okay, from this bundle by asking an extract attribute that uh, uh, the property panel to select a node will give you the parameter yeah, we have the extract attribute that for now that, that for now that they are uh, with two attributes here the OSC infos tell us this the OSC message output an omnigraph bundle with attribute address and arguments so we don't need the others because we already said it here. But we want what we want the arguments. So we type arguments. Okay. And because of all the things uh, that can accept float, but actually here we need me what we need string. I need to convert uh, the string to float. So let's type here float. Float. And with something like to float, I guess. I really hope. Uh, yes. Okay, and now I have a beautiful value that I can send to something that accepts a float, like what? Like uh, the scale of uh, our torus. So we take the torus from the stage, we drop it in the uh, action graph network, and we want to do what? You see, you can read, uh, write, uh, and read the bundle. We want to write attributes to this USD. Okay, so we write. And we grab the wire, we have the bang, so we want to write, we want to write what? These things that are our vector, vector that I will see from Omniverse. And uh, they are linked, uh, the, the write prime attributes is, is linked to torus, but when we want to move from the torus attribute, the, there's a lot, but we just need scale. Okay, and now we have a freaking error. Ah, uh, pom 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 is not compatible with time float. Please disconnect. Okay, so we have this, and okay, we need to convert it actually. And we are moving now a torus inside Omniverse. Pretty nice. Let's put the viewport uh, with my resolution. And uh, press F11. We are now to screen here. Yeah. We can work a bit to see the feeling we want. Okay. I mean, all the system here is pretty. It's pretty good. The, the graphic quality is not comparable to my taste to Maria. Maria is better. But I like how Omniverse is uh, so user-friendly, user in my opinion, and I think you will find it useful. I really hope they will improve the whole system, make it even faster. Um, for more information about Omniverse, please uh, see the, the link I will give in the video description. And uh, I want to say thank you for the new subscriber and uh, also to the old one and uh, didn't expect to get so much uh, result uh, thank you ciao